Hey. Hello, uh, Mr. Manson? Yeah. Hey, this is Brendan Walsh and Nick Thune from the Do You Know Who Jason Siegel is podcast. How's it going? Yeah, okay. Sorry well, about I mean, your what do you think how Sorry about your brother. Yeah, I'm sorry about him, but also, you know what? It's it's not a big deal. You don't uh when's the last time you spoke with him? Uh about two or three weeks ago. Mm hmm. How was that? We play on. That was good. We don't really talk. We we play a uh, this game called Farm Crossing. We just chat in the app. Oh, and for people, his brother was Charles Manson. I don't think we said that. No, this is Jim Manson. Yeah. Do you remember the last uh -huh. thing? You, remember the last chat you had with him? Your last words? Uh, it's probably something about sheep. A sheep. Oh, sheep. Yeah. All right, well, hey, we just wanted to call you know and let you know that we're starting Jason the podcast. Siegel yeah, we're starting the podcast, Mr. Manson. We know what is this, fucking radio lab or something? And we Thanks, Jimmy. Thanks, Jim. James. Quiz. Do you know who Jason Siegel is? Are you done? Well, that was, um, I don't know. Maybe we won't keep that in. What, who, Jim Manson? Yeah. Why? It's a little, you know, usually, I mean, we talk to Ryan Adams. Yeah. Shia LaBeouf. Mm -hmm. it just Charles Manson's brother seems a little off, you know? Yeah. I don't want to bum people out, but yeah, that was uh, Jim Manson, Charles Manson's brother. It is a weird way to start, especially since you and I are both fired up right now. Uh, we just got a new sponsorship. Let's make this quick announcement. Energy Drink uh, has decided to sponsor the podcast. Brendan and I are hyped up on Energy Drink right now. Uh, yep, 45 second energy. You have to drink a shitload of them. It's good stuff, though, so go look for it at your local, I guess, convenience store, gas Bodega. station. Bodega. Bodega. Uh, Gas station, 7-Eleven. Stationary bike store. Uh, if you have a, uh, a weird doctor, um, maybe he can write you a prescription for it. And, uh, oh, wait. Oh. Wait, 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 oh, wait, wait, wait. Get him, get him. Just, we just want two strawberry shortcakes. God. Whoa, holy shit. <laughs> what? Is he coming back? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Here he comes. Nope. Hey! Oh shit, dude. This guy's like. <laughs> this is a cool dude. He's doing donuts right in front of the studio. Alright. He's really got a new he got some sort of a new stereo system. <laughs> he got something, something there. So how's it going, Nick? Good for him. Never been better. How's your uh hang low? Do you have some uh what do they call that? Something something on your hang low? It's like pussy juice on your dick. Or oh, God. What? It's a saying. See, that's I wasn't going to say had, it. No, but I, last night we were having a dinner in my house. Mm -hmm. uh, a couple you know, people from the neighborhood came over. And turns out one of them had listened to the podcast. I mean, we do have. We are number one on iTunes right now. Yeah. Um, which I do need to bring that up. Our lawyer called me today. I want to talk to you about that. But... They brought up that you had described what PJ was to me. Yeah. Pussy juice. I wasn't going to say it, but yeah. And my wife was offended. The dinner ended really quickly. And so, you know, you look at my family and my aunts and obviously some cousins that have, you know, stopped listening to the podcast. But Why would they stop? We're just hitting our stride. Yeah, but then you come in hard, you talk about nuts, you've been talking about dirty diapers. You've... Nuts? Yeah. Dirty diapers. Well, all the diapers I wear are dirty because I'm a diaper lad, and that's my kink. I'm like a furry, but with diapers. How do you explain that to a 67-year-old woman who lives in Tacoma? Well, first you explain what furries are, and it's people who wear mascot outfits and have sex with each other in the mascot outfit. 
I don't even want to. I do it, talk. but instead of a mascot outfit, I wear a large and not an adult diaper. You see, that's a big misconception about us diaper lads. We have, I mean, they're adult size diapers, but they're, they look like baby diapers. Oh, they have like choo-choos on them and stuff. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oscar de Grouch. Oscar de Grouch. And again, there's a whole cut. Do you ever mess up which side's the crotch and what side's for the poop? Nope. The, uh, I just know how to put them on. And actually, no sides for poop. It's just for cum. They're cum diapers. Yeah, I mean, I almost want you to get your own podcast to talk about this stuff. And then see, the audience did like the audience that. likes that. But I want you to get your own podcast to where diaper. you can talk about that stuff and it doesn't affect my family, my... Well, maybe I will. You know, neighborhood dinner okay. stuff. We'll do... Uh, okay, guys, keep it down. Um, okay, this is... Uh, hold on, I have an announcement to make. Let it be known that I, Brendan Walsh, will be starting his own podcast. In addition to Do You Know Who Jason Siegel Is? So don't go jumping out a window yet. I'll just be on two podcasts from now on. Uh, so keep your eyes and ears peeled for the new, exciting, adult-themed Brendan Walsh podcast. Not my, not my thing. Well, uh, it doesn't have to be your thing. I do have a quick announcement, though. Okay. Go ahead. We've got a new sponsor, Pants. Pants have come in. They were with us in the beginning. They dropped out because of Brendan's PJ talk. And they are willing to come back. Uh, I got to get this. I'm going to try and get this guy this time. Hold on. Ready? I mean, how many 6x9s do you have? What's a 6x9? Speaker. Oh, yeah. (laughs) That's the remix. That guy's pretty cool. Um, pants. Yeah. If you're not familiar with what pants are, they're like cum diapers, except longer and thinner because they don't have to absorb anything. That's, and our sponsors are going to want you to cut that out, but let me do, I'm going to do this dumb song. You're going to do a song? Well, this, it's part of the thing. Do you need, uh, nope, some I backing just need music? you to stop. We got to get this we advertisement get, uh, out of the way. Well, here, I'll just do like a, you uh, could have a beat. Okay. Everybody's got to wear their pants sometimes Cause if you don't like wearing your pants all the time We don't want your business What is it? I mean, I don't write it If you're familiar with pants It's like a cum diaper But no. they're longer <laughs> They go down past the knee And they don't this have is to also... hold your cream Your cream from your dick that comes That's... shooting out I hope Gonna you cut go this out. out right into a snout cut Gonna out. come on your Stop pants it. And come on your face Gonna this come so... all over the goddamn place Gonna come this is... is this the material you want out there? Gonna come <laughs> If people see your name and they see that You're right it is. I'm. I'm an older man now. It's like the font on that flyer. It's like you know. I, I have a specific font that is my brand, mm-hmm. and I don't. Come talk is not involved in. The You're Nick right. Thune it shouldn't brand. be me either. I'm trying to be a different guy. We're calling Hawaii today. Hey, let's take a little vacation. We'll take you all with us. See, now that's louder. Every phone connection is different. Aloha. Oh, hey, how's it going? Uh, This is Brendan. I'm here with uh, my employee, Nick. Hi. Hey. Are you guys, you guys have costumes? Costumes? Yeah. Um, we have a couple of costumes, like bedroom kind. Oh, like lingerie? Yeah. Well, we are uh, what's known as furries. What does that mean? That's like we put on... Oh, actually, do you know who Jason Siegel is? I do. You do? Who is he? You know who Jason Siegel is, right? Yeah. How do you know of him? Uh, How I Met Your Mother? Mm Mm-hmm. Okay. That's right. Okay. Just wanted to make sure we were talking about the same one. Well, we are um, furries. And what furries do, we put on like a... uh, We put on... Uh, like mascot costumes, you know, like a big rabbit or a Viking, or like, you know, like a mascot costume. Like That's a bear. Like a, 
Okay. Or a large a, diaper. A, a moose. Do you have anything like that? Um, I can check if we still have we the couple that we had on Halloween. We had um like a big panda head and like a unicorn head. Oh, but we would need the whole body. You have the whole yeah, body. Yeah, we don't have anything like that, unfortunately. The only like little outfits that we have are like a nurse, a maid. Um, that doesn't really. Like, you know. Yeah, I know. Uh, is there anybody Sorry. else? Is anybody else working with you there today? Um. Yes. Can we ask your the, your coworker if they know who Jason Siegel is? Um. Well, maybe when she comes back. Oh, which where is she? Um, I, I think she's at the bathroom. Okay. Hmm. Is she in it or just I'm at it? I'm gonna have to let you go. Okay. Okay. Aloha. Okay. Love you. Um, I think that place was. We're not gonna say the name. I think that was like a weird kind of. That was a weird sex <coughs> store. It was like a. Uh, I never heard of this until I lived in Austin. But they had places called lingerie modeling studios. Mm-hmm. And I think they're like whorehouses or <clears throat> if you don't have sex with them, I think it's like, it's not, I think we call it a place where you like have Jack, sh- they have Jack shacks or something. Hmm. Um, but good news is she knew who Jason Siegel was. That was good news. You know what I found interesting this week is Jason Siegel has just gotten a New York Times bestseller. For writing a book? Yeah. What about what? I don't know. Maybe his life? Guadalain? See, I don't like the ones that are like that because it definitely felt, you know, like she at the end was like, I don't like these guys. Yeah, not everybody's going to like you. Yeah. Um, I think it's best it, if we kind of just keep the ones that do, though. So it doesn't seem like we're harassing. We weren't really harassing. We had legitimate questions. Do you know? How you have to find something? Hi, this is Nick. I'm here with um, an intern that uh, works here for No Money named Brendan. Brendan Walsh. And we were wondering if you know who Jason Siegel is. To who? Jason Siegel. Oh, I'm not searching on who he is. That. Do you know what department he works in? No, no, he doesn't work there. You would just be familiar with the name Jason Siegel. No. Never heard that name before. Mm-mm. Do you guys have a fish department? No, we don't. You do, you guys, do you guys have a, a dog leash department? Um, we've got pets. Like we do so, like some certain pets. Stuff like dog food and cats. Yeah, can we talk to the pet department? Uh, okay, one moment. Thanks. Oh, no. Oh, shush. That's why I was there. Scale of one to ten, how much do you like picking your nose? Ten. It's pretty fun, right? Yep. I was just like going to town today. And it's funny when you see, because I do on a daily basis see other people doing it. And you're like, "Ah, come on, guy. People in their cars. Hi, sir. Sorry, no one seems to pick up at that department. Is there something on the floor I can help you find? What about the grocery department? Is there a grocery department? Or yeah, we'll speak to the manager. Okay. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you for holding. This is H speaking. Can help you find something? Hey, what's your name? My name is H. How can I help you? Hey, uh, this is Brendan Walsh. I'm here with Nick Thune. Hi. Do you Hi. do you know who Jason Siegel is? I do. How do you how do you know him? He's an actor, right? That's right. That's how did, how did you spell your name? I'm sorry. How do you spell your name? My name is H, like the letter. Oh, oh H. just H. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Do you, I um do you ever get are you a seafood uh do you like seafood? I, I do. You know, I was at the uh, seafood market. This is funny. Uh, the guy, uh, his name's Steve. He was working at the seafood market. Scuba Steve? Mm-hmm. Just Steve. And he was, um, I was just got to uh, talking to him and it turns out he has a pet fish at home at his house. 
mm-hmm. named Dave. And I was like, that's kind of crazy because he's like killing fish all day at work. And then he goes home and he feeds a fish, you know, like right. Steve's at work. And then he comes home to Dave. And I was like, do you like, what does he tell Dave when he comes home? Like Steve's at work, like he can't come home with like all the uh, bloody fish, like all the fish guts on his clothes. So what does he change into? Does Steve change into a suit? So like when he comes in, Dave does it. Or I'm sorry. The fish guy's name was Dave. The guy working in the seafood right, department. Um, that was Dave and his fish's name is Steve. Well, so I was like, is there something I can help you with though today? Do you guys sell fish? We, uh, we sell frozen fish, but not live fish. Hmm. Um, do you know who Nick Thune is? I, I, I have to go, man. Um, was there anything else I could help you with though? No, I guess that's it. Okay. Have a nice night. Hey, I love you, man. Yo, H, my name is B-Dubs, and I'm here to say I'm in love God. with a guy named H Maui. I love him so much, I'm like, oh, wowee. I want to make love to H. I know he's a man, but I'm going to make love to him the best that I can. I love you, H. My name is B-Dubs. We're going to fall in love. Oh, hey. Oh, hey. Woo. <laughs> Not bad. Really bad. Not a bad, just like right off really bad. the cuff. What if we make our podcast an all rap no. podcast? We rap. We have different beats and we just rap. Our I just don't have words. it in me. I mean, it might be the diarrhea. I don't know what it is. But. <laughs> oh, diarrhea. Now that's hard to rhyme. I feel pretty weak right now. Just talk about your diarrhea. Maybe it'll turn into a rap. <laughs> it's not good. This is like asking me to do a British accent. I smell. Is somebody smoking marijuana outside? Or I don't know. Maybe I'm just it's catching. California, bra. It is bra. Uh, we could call. Let's see. Don't say his last name. Frank Cum. He's an uh, Asian lawyer. He has a thin mustache. Thank you. Thank you. And. Uh, He's a very thin John Waters style mustache and tight curly hair. Oh, it's not even naturally curly. It's a perm. I had an uncle that was, he, he did perms for a while. He did it to him? He had a perm? Yeah. That is so fucking cool. Let's call a, uh, let's call a hairstyle place. And call my uncle too. Do you want to call your uncle? Ask him about his perm. Will he be like, uh, is he jovial about things? Oh, wait, shit. Should we? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Dude, we just want some rocket pop. Nick's calling his uncle. Oh, shit. Now we're talking to. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Here comes the ice cream truck. Me, I don't give a fuck. I'm eating ice cream all no. day long. Now I'm rapping up and down about this song. I want to say sorry about my friend named B W. He's bad at rapping. Oh, oh I, I had something there. there. I had something there. I wanted to throw in, but next. that's not. They shouldn't have words in there. Here, call the mobile. Mobile calling Nick's uncle's mobile. Uh, 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 uh. Can you see him there staring at the phone, debating on whether or not to answer? Hello. I'm not available to take your call right now, so... See, maybe he'll call us back, because then he'll be like, who was that? He'll be like, hi. <laughs> he might be sleeping. Here's... Well, I mean, this is an actual official announcement, so... This is um, a big-time announcement. This is a huge-time announcement. Ladies and gentlemen, we have sold a waterbed, as you've learned from two episodes ago. Brent. Brent. In Las Vegas. In Las Vegas. And we will be doing a live show January 30th. In Las Vegas. Do you remember the name of the venue? No. <laughs> It'll be on our website. Me, go to brendanwalsh.com in, in and nickthune.com. I mean, I'll put... Well, there won't be a ticket link, but there'll be at least... God damn it. Why did we do that? Block out January 30th and just keep listening. January 30th, we are doing a live 
show in Vegas. And that's just going to be us doing uh, stand up. And then uh, on the 31st, we're going to go over to Brent's house and do a live podcast. Um, well, I guess it won't be live. It'll be recorded there. Nick's on his phone. I'm looking up the venue. Oh, yeah. Okay. Then we'll do uh That'll be better for the announcement. Oh, yeah. It's Dr. Nick here. I'm with my intern, Brendan Walsh. Yo, yo, yo. We got a show, Bunkhouse Saloon, Las Vegas, January 30th. It is a Tuesday. We are getting paid thousands of dollars guaranteed up front, added hopefully a bonus with the drinks that you guys buy and the ticket sales. 7 p.m. doors, 8 p.m. show. Tickets are eighteen dollars. Eighteen bucks, you get Brendan Walsh and Nick Thune each doing a full stand-up comedy set, one after the other, and then we're just gonna t- actually we're gonna do ten minutes at a time. We'll tag each other in and out. It's gonna be a total mix mix around show. And uh, if you're Brendan, will also be unveiling a tighter version of the Steve. Steve and, and Jeff, or Steve and Dave, Steve or Dave Peter. Joke. I might I might change up the fish names, but I'm gonna Mark do that. Mark and Peter joke. could be Jason. So we'll. Uh, That'll be a fun thing. Find out what names Brendan uses on January 30th at the Bunkhouse Saloon. Bunkhouse Saloon, January 30th, Las Vegas, Nevada. Um, it's not exactly a Bunkhouse live. Downtown.com. Yeah, and come see Nick and I do a, a live show, and then uh, and then we're gonna do a podcast the next day at Brent's house, which so will I feel be like a private should event. Be, inclusive maybe you know what we should do maybe we should do a little bit after our show after our sets we make a few phone calls on stage sure yeah yeah just to give you guys like if you're not a fan of my comedy or nick's comedy or either one of our maybe you hate comedy you just like podcasts We'll we'll call uh we'll, you know, come to I think the audience is gonna be divided between people who like PJ and the C U M stuff. Yeah. And there's gonna be people that are appalled by it. But everybody who comes better. No, love no, no, no. Rap. Beep. I mean, My just, name beep, is beep, Brandon. Beep, I come straight beep, from heaven. Beep, I'm gonna beep, bang your beep, beaver. Beep, 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 and then I'm gonna pull beep, my beep, lever. Beep, 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 2000, y'all. Lever 2000. That's the soap that I use to wash my balls. Now I'm gonna go walk <laughs> You're done, man. to the mall. You're done. To Spencer's Gifts. Get out of there. Where, I mean, where'd you find Spencer's Gift mentally there? Mall. I wrapped you mall, right and Spencer. that was the first yeah. place I could think of. Uh, uh, uh. Dude, I cannot wait to do more rapping in my free time. Here we go. This is... uh. Oh, well, I hope you're not getting sick, but have you had that awful cold going around yet? No, but this isn't a cold. Oh, yeah, it's like a food poisoning thing. But, you know, that could fuck up. Aloha. This is Mary. How can I help you? Hey, Mary. Uh, this is Brendan Walsh. And I'm here. Hello. I'm here with uh, Nick Thune. Have you ever heard of us? Hey. Yeah. How can I help you, sir? Well, we were wondering, uh, do you know who Jason Siegel is? Uh, no. Jason Siegel? That name doesn't ring a bell? No. No. Name's I know Brendan him? Walsh. I'm calling you to ask a question. Do you know who Jason Siegel is? My boy Nick is here. What's up? Have you ever heard huh. of Nick Thune? T H U N E? Yeah. You've heard of Nick Thune? Help you, sir. Um, Wait, that's a big thing, though. Have you heard of Nick Thune? T H U N E. Well, because we might make a hotel reservation. Oh, okay. <laughs> can I help you? Are you talking to me or someone else? Uh, well, there's someone at the front desk. Oh, can I talk and to them real quick? No. <laughs> Please ask them if they want to speak to me. Okay, sir, how can I help you? Tell them famous <laughs> rapper Brendan Walsh is on the phone. Ask him if they would. Uh, I just want to talk to him for a moment. Ask him if it's okay with them. I, I, I can't do that, sir. I'm sorry. Ma'am. Mary. <laughs> okay, uh, I'm going to have to end this call. Unless you want to make a reservation, I can transfer you to reservations. Transfer me to reservations, Mary. Okay, thank you. Thank One you. Moment, Trans- are you transferring me? I am. Sweet. 
this could be this now could I'm be gonna the drop a beat uh, uh, and cause it is sweet gonna get a room and then go boom in the toilet in the toilet that's what, I, I've been service. in that toilet all day. Calls may be recorded or monitored. Well, we're, we're already recording it. Thank you for calling Hell Reservations. This is Passion. How can I assist you? Oh, my God. Is your name Passion? <laughs> yes, my name is Passion. That's a dope name. My name's Brendan. Not this, as good. This is Nick. Here with Nick. Did you say Brayden? Brendan, B-R-E-N-D-O-N. <laughs> Brendan, you have a pretty cool name yourself. Uh, it's no passion. <laughs> so, how are you tonight? What can I help you with? Doing pretty good. Do you know uh, who Jason Siegel is? You said who? Jason Siegel? S-E-G- Siegel? Siegel, yeah. Jason Siegel. Um, I'm not sure. Is he on site at the hotel? I'm in their central reservation. No, no, no. You wouldn't know him uh, from the hotel. Yeah, it would be outside business. Jason okay, Siegel. No. Just, just think about it if that name rings a bell. I'm not sure who that is. I'm sorry. That's okay. Did you ever see, um, do you go, do you surf or anything there, Passion? I don't. I'm not there on site. I wish I could go surfing out there. I'm in their central reservation department. Where's that? Nebraska? It's No, not Nebraska. California. California? What's the weather like there? Um, the weather is all right. We had a little bit of rain, but it's clearing up right now. So it's actually pretty okay. Passion. One of my favorite cities. California is my favorite city, too. You think so? I think California is pretty cool. Listen to this. I'd probably much rather be in Hawaii, though. Me too. I love California. Uh, I wish I was born there. Uh, I'm talking to passion. And we're going to do a transaction. I'm going to rent a room in a Hawaii. You're okay. making my night right now. Passion, I, I actually want to apologize for my friend. Oh, do you want to make it? He just learned how to rap. I just took rap lessons. You don't have to. Hey, he did a great job rapping. I really enjoyed it. Hold on. Nick wants to make an announcement. Hey, Passion. Okay. It's me, Nick. Quick announcement. Uh, let it be known that Brendan is off his rocker right now, and he is rapping, and it's not really our brand. Oh. <laughs> Going off brand. I appreciate the announcement, Brendan. You can rap anytime, okay? Thanks, Passion. That's what I've been saying too. Have you ever slept? Uh, have you ever slept on a waterbed? Um, a long time ago, a very long time ago. Do they have waterbeds at a, at the hotel? We do not have waterbeds on the property. I'm sorry. Would they be interested in buying a waterbed? Do you think? If I could oh. connect them with a uh, great waterbed salesman. Do you think we can uh, get some water beds in that hotel? Honestly, I'm not sure if they're looking to buy any water beds at this time. You may need to What's that? speak with the front desk or the front. You don't make purchases on their behalf. Gotcha. Oh, okay. So I should call the front desk back? Yeah, they may be able to help a little bit more with, you know, making purchases and things this like is, that. This is it's kind of a Are bummer when when somebody bed? when somebody's called and they've rapped and they seem personable and then all of a sudden it turns out hey this guy's a salesman. I mean it's not my job to sell water beds, but hold on, give me a beat. <laughs> give you a beat? Can you hear that? Brendan, did you want to make a, a reservation today? I'd like to make a reservation on a waterbed with proper flotation. I need proper flotation. Passion. No, I, I'm not. I, I, to be honest with you, we're just, we're on a, we're doing a podcast and. Uh, we just wanted to know if you knew who Jason C. Oh my gosh. Am I on your podcast? You're on our podcast, Passion. You're the Hi, first everybody. person we've ever told that to. Yeah. I'll listen to it. What's the name of your podcast? It's called Do You Know Who Jason Siegel Is? 
Do you know who Jason Siegel is? Mm-hmm. Yep. That's the name of it, really. It really is. <laughs> it really is. <laughs> Type it okay, into iTunes. Okay, I'm going to Google it and see if I can hear myself on you guys' podcast. Well, this won't be out for a couple days, but uh, you'll hear the whatever the last episode that's up there now. I think it's episode seven or eight. You'll be on the so next. So basically, episode. you're prank calling me. Is this that is right? not a prank call. <laughs> it's not really a prank call. It's it's, it's a, a legitimate call. call where we ask if you know who Jason Siegel is, and then I just kind of got off on oh, the rap are you thing. Jason Siegel? No, I'm not Jason Siegel. No, we just want to know if people know oh. who he is. Well, who is he then? He's an actor. Yeah, he's in that show, How I Met Your Mother. Um, I love you. Oh, man. I do know how you met your mother, or how they how. He's that really tall how guy. How I met your mother. <laughs> yeah, he was on like Freaks and Geeks, and. Uh, okay, that's pretty cool. Yeah, well, um, so yeah, you're excited about being on the podcast then. I am excited about hearing myself on the podcast, but I do have other calls holding, Brendan. So if you'd like to make a reservation, I'd be happy to help you with that. If not. Can you call me back maybe tomorrow? We can do another podcast. Is there, yeah, you know, we'll do we, another will, podcast. Um, we will call you again. Um, By what, do we just do this same number? Oh, wait, they transferred us to you. Uh, just ask for the reservation department. I'm sure anybody that you get would be very entertaining. And then I'll say, but I can ask for passion when I get the reservations department. You can definitely ask for me. Great, I'll be thanks. in tomorrow. Okay. Thanks, Passion. You're welcome. Have a good night. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. I love you. Passion. I got to say, this this fe- it could be a fever that's settling in over here. So, um, so you're saying we should stop the podcast? Let's do one more call. Come on, Nick. All right, well, I guess um, we need to end on something there. I don't know if we have enough. Well, Nick's just icing me out now, folks. (laughs) We do have enough. I guess... um, We have enough. This, this, This podcast could be a half hour of you rapping. Might have to do that. Listen up, y'all. It's the ice cream man about to come here and give you all my cone. Oh, yeah. Do you know who Jason Siegel is? I said. A lot of headphones getting taken out right now. Do you know who Jason Siegel is? We know who he is. And we want to give you a little quiz. Do you know who Jason Seagull is?